Hey there cats and kitties, I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video I want to talk a little bit about this CG animated short that is just gangbusters. It looks freaking amazing, and it falls in line with that classic age-old anime, you know, franchise, basically, Evangelion, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. This is called Evangelion Another Impact. It was directed by a notable mecha designer in all things anime in Hollywood, uh, Shinji Aramaki, who has been, you know, basically you see his name attached to things uh, relating along the lines of Starship Troopers, Appleseed, and uh, the list goes on and on and on. You know, there's a bunch of different stuff. Uh, which Hunter Robin he has a credit with and uh, it just it's insane how awesome this is because it's very much on par with something like Pacific Rim uh, the Guillermo del Toro you know film which uh, I finally caught up with and loved it just you know wowed me to high heaven um, because it was very much in the flavor and in the vein of Evangelion the idea of uh, you know fighting giant monsters kaiju in the case of uh, Pacific Rim but you know the angels that you find in Evangelion and uh, this short basically you know it's kind of like a launch uh, is about to happen they're testing this new Ava, I guess it is. I mean, it looked kind of like, uh, you know, the unit you usually see Shinji Ikari, the character from Evangelion piloting. Uh, there is some purple colorization to it, but apparently it's called Another Number Unit Null. And there's something that goes tremendously wrong in this short. You know, they're uh, going through the entire process of powering it up and everything, and something goes wrong, and uh, it basically starts to operate on its own it's you know there doesn't seem to be a human operator involved at all and what's very interesting is uh you know it gets itself out of nerve headquarters basically and onto uh you know neo tokyo or whatever you want to call it the surface uh where it's then you know attacked by military choppers it makes uh dispatch with those with relative ease while also kind of stumbling around on its own like it's finding its own footing and then it hears a voice that I can only assume is meant to be Rei Ayanami's, uh, because we then later see after this thing, you know, crashes literally through a building, and uh, this building topples down on top of the unit null, um, you know, in its clutched hand, we, ne we never see the figure or the face or anything like that, but we see a close-up of a red-pupiled eye. Uh, and that is something Ray is known for, kind of having a, a you know pink-hued eye or whatever, red-hued eye. And uh, so it's very intriguing that, you know, this basically ends with this unit null sort of screaming and reaching to the sky, and we see uh, all this red oceanic, you know, surrounding uh, a land mass with impacts and everything like that. And and uh, for it to be called another impact, you know, I don't exactly know what this is all meant to amount to, whether it's, uh, you know, it's obviously not like a fan production, which was my initial thought going into it. I thought maybe this was something uh, fan produced, but, you know, I don't know if this entails a new series, a new movie, uh, you know, there's still the rebuild of Evangelion. I don't know if that ever uh, culminated with its fourth chapter. Um, I've seen as yet the first two, I have yet to see the third, and, uh, but you know, basically, if you go to the official website, and I'll be linking the Kotaku article that first uh, I got the heads up about this from my friend over on Facebook, Brandon. Uh, the article had, you know, the video linked in it and said, you know, go to the official website. If you go to the official website, uh, which also will be linked below, they have settings. Uh, it's all in Japanese, but you can actually set it to be in English. And uh, you can make some sense of what exactly it's all about. But uh, there's something that, you know, it says about February 9th. 2015 you will see more or there'll be something else and I don't know exactly what that entails uh, there's like supposed to be a trade fair or something like that or maybe an anime fair uh, you know where this will actually be a live stream maybe or, or maybe this is a preview of something to come I'm not quite clear on it but it is again just to use that term gangbusters it's absolutely a phenomenal short and uh, i can only hope you know this is something we'll see in the future as like a uh, live action cg mesh movie akin to pacific rim because i mean 
you know, Evangelion is rife with uh, different incarnations of the story and different interpretations of the story. You have the original anime, you have manga adaptations, you have, you know, short stories, the movies, uh, Death of Evangelion, all these different things. You have the rebuild, uh, sort of, you know, reinterpretation and reimagining of Ava. And so, I mean, it's rife for the picking, you know, very much like Ghost in the Shell, as we know, uh, go there is going to be a Ghost in the Shell live action film, and for a long time they've been talking about uh, Akira as well, and you know, who knows if we'll ever get an Akira. Quite frankly, if I had to choose Ghost in the Shell and Cowboy Bebop would be the top two, but Evangelion would be a fast number three for a big budget live action film. And if it looks as good or better as this particular short, well, hell, <laughs> I will just be happy as a pig and crap. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, definitely you got to check out this short. If you haven't seen it, uh, I will link a link directly to the video itself, but also the articles to follow. And uh, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you think of this. You know, anime fan or not, sci-fi, action, adventure, film, you know, uh, movie fan, that kind of thing. What do you think of this? Because I would be surprised. There's probably going to be a small amount of people who aren't going to be wowed by this. And uh, it's just mind-blowing. That's how awesome it is. So yeah, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and that it finds you well. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.